Welcome to my second class on chemical reaction coupled to electron transfer process. So in our previous session we learnt about the ERCI process where the follow up chemical reaction was irreversible. Now in this session we will learn about the ERCR process where the chemical reaction followed by the electron transfer process is reversible. So here we are considering first the electrochemical reduction of the starting material ox to form red which form product Z via reversible chemical reaction and an equilibrium exists between red and Z. Now since the chemical reaction is reversible and there must be some equilibrium constant and it can be expressed as the ratio of the rate constant of the forward direction that is Ka and the backward rate constant Kb. So K equal to K by Kb. Now the CV analysis for such system that is for ERCR, the cathodic or the reduction peak current intensity is comparable to that of ERCI system. This is because the cathodic peak current intensity only depends on the availability of the ox species and the chemical reaction has no role on that. That is why the cathodic peak current intensity is comparable or is same for the ERCR and ERCI system. However, for the anodic peak, the case is different. Now we will see. So here we will see how the anodic scan affects the nature of the cyclic voltammetric plot or what is the nature of the CV plot during the anodic scan at different condition. Now during the anodic scan or the reverse electron transfer process, the concentration of rate in the vicinity of the electrode is maintained by the chemical equilibrium between red and Z. Now during the reverse oxidation process, as soon as the red is reoxidized to ox, the local concentration of the red is reduced. But to maintain the chemical equilibrium between red and Z, some of the product Z will convert back to form red and the produced red will again undergo oxidation at the electrode and the process of oxidation of red at the electrode and conversion uh, uh, like uh, and conversion of Z to red and further oxidation of, con of converted red to ox will continue. This will continue until the potential limit is reached or the concentration of Z becomes zero. Basically the like format like uh, is uh, uh, true like until the potential is reached. So at slow scan rate enough time lapse between the initiation of reduction of the ox to form red and chemical conversion of red to Z and reach equilibrium between red and Z. So some of the red is always available for reoxidation during the reverse scan at slow scan rate. And since the scan rate is slow, it will take long time to reach the potential limit that is the starting potential and that time is enough to maintain the chemical equilibrium between red and Z by converting Z to red. Now when the Z is being converted to red that is again available for the oxidation to form ox. So in this case you can expect an increased anodic peak current intensity when the scan rate is very slow. As you can see here at slow scan rate, it, the peak current ratio of the reverse or anodic peak and the cathodic peak tends to 1. That indicates it behaves it behave almost reversibly, but not reversibly because in reversible system, the peak current, the peak position will be separated by potential 59 by any millivolt. So we will come to that later because that peak potential 
separation will depend on scan rate uh, in some cases if it is not reversible now what when uh, scan rate is increased from the slowest scan rate slowly to higher scan rate the anodic to cathodic peak current ratio will decrease so this is the opposite effect that you observe in my previous uh, previous session like erci case and at very high scan rate you may not see any anodic peak or even if you can see it will have very low intensity so let's compare side by side this erci process and ercr process so for erci process as you know at slow scan rate you may not you will not get the anodic peak because there will be no red available for the oxidation during the reverse scan however at slow scan rate red will be available for the oxidation for the ercr case as well as the equilibrium between the red and z will be maintained by converting z to red so at the slowest scan rate you can expect an increase in anodic peak current intensity so it will behave almost reversibly that is the ir by if anodic to cathodic peak current ratio will tend to 1 however for the erci case at fast scan rate it will behave reversibly on the other hand for the ercr case at fast scan rate the ratio of the anodic to cathodic peak current will decrease with increasing scan rate so if you compare the peak current ratio of the anodic to cathodic peak current that is ir by if for both the erci and ercr process as a function of increasing scan rate you can see a plot like this so here you can see with increasing scan rate for the erci case the ratio of the anodic to cathodic peak current increases however for the ercr case the ratio of the anodic to cathodic peak current decreases from 1 with increasing scan rate so so far for the erci and ercr case we have only considered at different scan rate what is the fate of the cathodic peak and anodic peak that means anodic peak current or cathodic peak current we have not really considered so far we have not talked anything about the peak potential position in our next session we will discuss on that thank you